There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So this is your girl April. Today's video is going to be of a unit that I made by a company called Wandis. I think that's how you pronounce your name. So they did send me a frontal and three bundles of hair. A lipstick there. Uh -huh. okay. Where are you going, girl? I want to be on camera. Oh, she doesn't want to be on camera, but what I got? Open this one. I already know those is lashes, but what's in the other package? That's that's Nay. She don't want to be on camera. Um. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me if I seem a little bit down in this video or not so active or, you know, spunky or whatever, live, vibrant, but I really don't feel that great. Um, but if I tell you I'm going to do something, then I'm definitely going to do it. So with that being said, they did send me their, I think it was loose wave hair and they sent me a frontal in three bundles. So I only ended up using two of the bundles because it's a frontal and the, the bundles were short. They were 16 inches and 16 and I think 14 and 12 inch frontal. So, you know, the long, the shorter the hair is the longer the trap. So I ended up having to only use two, which is great because it's really full. But prior to that, um, I did bleach the knots on this unit. Like I did bleach the knots and I had to end up bleaching it twice because um, they didn't just lift right away which is great because I went back and bleached the second time while it was wet right after I rinsed the first original bleach out and it just came right up plus it wasn't even brassy but I did use the shimmer lights by Sally's not the real brand and it just held up really well to like the knots being bleached so it's not even brassy which I'm happy about okay I didn't even add any combs in it I just put an elastic band and I used one of the adjustable deluxe wig caps it's the netted ones that's what I used so we're gonna get into this video because I really do want to go and relax plus I do have another video to do so I'm trying to like really get them done out of the way so that I could go and relax so yes Okay, ladies, so as per usual, you guys already know how it goes. I did rebraid my hair today, so it was washed and clean, and I just went ahead and put two big cornrows in the back for this video. And as you guys can see, my edges are coming back slightly but slowly, and I cannot wait till they're like, hey, girl, we are back in full effect. Yes, yeah, so that is the reason why I haven't been doing like any closures lately, because I really just don't want any combs anywhere near my edges plus I just find it much easier just to put the wig on with some mousse I ain't got to worry about it slipping back and you know I can just put on this stocking cap right here which is one of my favorites you know when you get a good stocking cap and you have hooked it up with the right perfect color you make sure that thing stays down so now it's time for this wig by Wanda's hair so the wig or the actual hair is really nice hair I will give them that and as I was saying about the knots and the frontal I was so happy with them because seriously like so I bleached them once for 30 minutes with 30 developer and and the bleach, the, the knots lifted slightly, like not as much as I would have liked them to. So I went back in after I rinsed it all out. And as it was still wet, I went ahead and I re-bleached the knots again. Which I do notice that sometimes when you have some frontals, that it's always best to just wash them or make sure that the frontal is wet some type of way so that way when you go to bleach it the knots will just lift a lot easier and i have noticed this over time we're just working with so many different frontals and closures so i have went ahead and just changed my method of bleaching the knots in any units by just spraying some water onto the actual knots on the lace side um just spraying it enough so where it's you know not soaking wet but it's wet enough and it really actually does help so i don't really think i have to explain this too much to you guys but just for video's sake i will again i use my eyebrow um trimmers just to make some baby hairs okay um and yeah that's about it i mean you can use whatever you want to use but i like the eyebrow trimmers scissors make blunt cuts so i really don't prefer them 
and as per usual or per usual i'm just gonna go ahead with the styling mousse and try to make me some baby hairs in this unit i did pre-tweeze it so it did get a little bit thinner in the front i just didn't want to get carried away because you know your girl can definitely scalp and bald or lace frontal so i tried to stay away from the tweezers um overdoing it okay and as normal my favorite hairspray for holding down a lace wig is pump it up pump it up super hold because there are two of them so i would highly recommend the super hold the heck with all that gel and glue and stuff like oh my god that stuff takes too much work just too much time it leaves a messy residue on your skin and also on your your lace of your wig so why even bother with doing all of that now it's time for the blow dryer so what i do is first i'll just blow dry it on cool and there is like a little trigger next to my finger where you can let go and it'll go onto hot so what i'll do is i'll just release it some and then go back to cool and then go back to hot and then i'll take the nozzle and then i'll press it down as you guys see here into my hair so that way it's definitely a allowing the glue excuse me not the glue the hairspray and the mousse to dry and I'm just going to go ahead and also brush it down at the back end of my sculpting brush and then take the nozzle once again and brush it into my hairline this just helps the glue oh here I go with the glue again this just helps the hairspray and the mousse hold and dry better and also smooths down the hair so now with the hot comb I'm just going to straighten it just a little bit more so that way it'll be super duper straight you know you can use whatever you want you can use a flat iron you can use a curling barrel whatever it is just don't burn yourselves okay because I have done that and I think I do that in this video as well but I do have the hot comb up to the highest temperature and you guys hear me say this all the time about this daggone hot comb I don't really like it because it's kind of thick like you know if you guys have any suggestions of different brand where I can get me a better one please do leave your recommendations down below because a girl would like to get one that's much better like it's very bulky at the top and just bulky all in general and I'm not sure what the size is of it but I will say this it was the only one at Walmart for 20 bucks and I just really don't favor this hot comb but I will use it until I get something that is more or less to my liking so I I do have it up to the highest temperature which I believe is either 20 or 25 it doesn't give you actual temperature degrees but hey now because it's so damn hot outside I am not about to be wearing no hair all out of my face because it's just too hot so this is the best that I could do or not even the best that I could do but this is what I came up with I mean I actually do like my hair in the two um, corn rolls on the side or two corn braids on the side because it just really looks cute and it makes it look natural as possible but when it's really hot outside girl put you some corn rolls and style it you will still look cute like a goddess honey like a goddess so this is basically how I wear a lot of my hairstyles in the summertime doesn't matter the hair texture a girl is is braiding in them braids and it does braid rather nicely so I will say that I am very pleasantly pleased with the hair okay definitely pleased with the hairstyle and I'm also pleased with the hair too in general so I'm just gonna hook it to the back you know what I'm saying and get it to look all cute and get those waves should pop in because all I'm gonna do is just brush out the waves and give it a more fuller look and just more wilder look and then I'm going to take some of my pressed powder because I did notice that my wig cap slipped kind of like back right there you see it you see that uh, but I wasn't about to take the wig off all of that so I just left it alone and just decided just to put a little pressed powder in the front of my hairline even though I really didn't need it but I just don't like to waste anything because it was already in a rush so you know hey but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you check the description box below for Wanda's hairs website and their links and I hope you guys enjoy your summer don't get too hot remember CC cool and cute for the hot weather hmm finally done with this this is how I apply my wig with a blow dryer versus a curling barrel or scarf you can use the scarf if you want just to apply it for like a minute or two but you will need to take it off because the scarf will smash it down so this is how I just do it with the blow dryer and it's actually on tight I forgot to put the combs in the back of the unit but I've decided because it's heat 
friendly outside like well it's not really heat friendly outside it's fucking hot but I decided because it was so hot outside that I would just wear the hair back into braids and just brush out the loose waves in the unit so that is what I did to this hair and it looks absolutely gorgeous like this I like it it's easy going you know easy breezy cover through I think that's how they say it right Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll post all of the information below for the hair that I received. I cannot remember if it was Malaysian, Peruvian, or Brazilian, but it's definitely virgin, loose wave, and it was 16, 16, 14 inches, and a 12-inch frontal, but I only used two bundles of it, and it's why I want this hair. Um, and like I said, I bleached the frontal, and it came out amazing. I love when they are just really strong knots in the frontal, so that way you know the hair is not falling out. Yes, hunties, definitely. So I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. You guys know I'll never do it this short, but I do like the length. It's definitely summer friendly, CC friendly, cool, and cute. So on that note, stay deep and delicious. Just make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up. And I'll see you guys in a soon to come tutorial. I had to go finish like two more videos before I can lay down and rest.